Hello, this is Ian Camelotis from Centertainment Media, and welcome to Here At. It's that time each July where Chicago embraces a follow-up to Anime Central and that's the convention known as Anime Midwest, hosted by AnimeCon.org. With around 10,000 plus attendees this year, Anime Midwest has established itself as the second biggest anime convention in the Chicagoland area. Entering their sixth year, Anime Midwest continues to grow and cater towards the guests and attendees of their con. Here's what they had this year. Continuing their focus on charity, AnimeCon.org's fabulous date auction continues to give people a chance to meet each other, make new friends, and raise money for St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Hosted by Vice President Erica and her crew, she keeps the excitement and entertainment up for the convention itself, all while having fun with the audience. The concerts continued to draw in huge crowds as returning bands, Steam Power Giraffe and Kid Yuki and the Otakus, among others, brought their musical talents again to center stage at Anime Midwest. <laughs> Anime Midwest continues to bring in panels of all kinds. Some included the Q&A session hosted by Chicago-based ChannelAwesome.com's crew, including Louis Linkara Lovehog, Brian the Last Angry Geek Heinz, Nash Bazard, and Shark Jumping hosts Beth and Tim, who were in attendance to give fans insight on their shows, their thoughts and opinions on movies and TV shows, and their experiences working for Channel Awesome. And then I worked with Doug's dad to actually put the songs together and bring them to life. And that was just a really great collaborative experience and it was really memorable. But as far as something for the two of us, I'd actually say the series that we have going on right now for summer called Once a Pilot, where it's a six part series that looks at failed TV pilots. And uh, we filmed and wrote the whole thing in advance. I edited all of them simultaneously. I went insane. <laughs> uh, but it was just great because we both have backgrounds in journalism and Tim's a comedy writer with The Onion. Uh, yeah, I think uh, of like all the videos and stuff that we've done, probably my favorite uh, for several reasons. I really liked our, we did a review of The Magic of David Copperfield. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm very, very opinionated serious. about it. <laughs> 
But so, but that was fun for several reasons. One, because we made like an interactive illusion that actually works. Uh, and by made, I mean we stole it from David Copperfield, so I'll credit him. <laughs> we didn't give credit to him. Um, and then I also proposed to you at the end of uh, that episode when we were filming it. So uh, that was pretty nice. So uh, that and the Shark Tank one, because I just love Shark Tank. <laughs> again, Centertainment Media hosts its popular scene dub panel, where audiences are given a chance to voice over scenes from their favorite animated movies, TV shows, anime, and video games. Those aspiring voiceover artists get the chance to perform in front of a large audience, which this year was a standing room only panel as even more people were in attendance than previous years. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think you want it. I do, I do! Oh, brown hard box. Okay, whatever you say, Doc. Here's the spare. Thank you. <laughs> no, no! No! <laughs> oh, poor <laughs> On top of the late night panels and meetups and performances, each night always brings us the raves. So here's an up-close look at the parties that were held this year. So, to check out their upcoming year schedule, check out AnimeCon.org and click on Anime Midwest. Until next time, this is Ian Noel Camelotis for Centertainment Media saying, Pokemon Go! Teen Titans battle didn't get too lost. Uh, otherwise though, uh, I had a great time, glad you had a great time, and I hope everyone enjoyed playing Pokemon Go because I couldn't! <laughs>